This is our Forex plot for May 28th, 2014. And these are our currency indexes, which let you see visually what each individual currency is doing. You can see, for instance, the dollar is trending up. Clearly, it's above its hourly moving average. For most of the day, it's above its 15-minute moving average. It's at the upper containment bands, which tends to be areas where the market kind of slows or reverses. Um, you can see that pound has trended down. And so basically, you use our currency index to buy the strong currencies versus the weak. Or in the case of the pound, which is on top of the dollar, you want to sell the pound dollar. You know, weak pound, strong dollar, you're looking for sales. And it doesn't matter what time frame you use. Here's a, a five minute chart, or you could use a 5R chart, 5 pips per bar range chart. You know that this is likely to fall. You get short, short again, very, very tight stop. And, you know, you can use our trailing stops or every time it makes a lower low, you can yank your stop down above the next little pullback area. Uh, and that allows you to catch these big moves and you'll be stopped out right here with the maximum profit. Huge win tiny risk. And even if you only caught a third of that win, it's still a three times bigger profit than what your risk is. And that's the key to trading. One of the things that we're going to be releasing soon uh, is our GAN angles, which um, I'm going to have to do a complete tutorial on how to use this. But it's, it's actually in our signals. And you can plot from, it finds the swing areas. You pick how many pips the, the move has to go up or down once it's confirmed as a higher low and then it will plot these GAN angles and you can actually plot GAN angles down uh, from the lows as well as the steep angles and it lets you see you know as this thing was trending down it never really uh, got back and uh, never had really a, a pullback at all until this this is the first 15 plus pip up move it had um, you also can use our trading signals to trade this is a combination of about 210 different patterns that tell you when to sell, you know, when to get out, small win, short here, small loss, pretty much break even on the second trade, huge win, pretty much break even, small loss, pretty much break even. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the other ones real quick. And we're completely rewriting our caching code. Um, in, in the next few weeks, we'll release this. You can see small win. Big win, big win, big win, pretty much 2 pip win, uh, 10 pip win, uh, break even, big 20, 30 pip win, nice win, pretty much 4 pip loss. And basically the key to trading is just super, super tiny losses, you know, this is the win, win, you know, pretty much break even, win, you know, uh, actually you probably lost a little bit on there, maybe 5 pips. Uh, 15, 20 pip win here, small win, and then here is your loss. So, you know, the losses are super tiny, super tiny, and much bigger wins compared to the loss, and much more wins and losses. Uh, take a look at some of the other ones you saw the pound already. Let's take a look at the euro yen. Just to give you an idea of how uh, our currency. Uh, signals work and again I had to rewrite these about three months ago I spent a year writing these in Visual Basic it was up to 15,000 lines of code and pretty much hit the limit of what our scripting language could do so I had to learn C++ and completely rewrite our signals just three months ago so uh, there's going to be a lot more uh, in the future here is the uh, Euro Yen and you can see small loss Big win, small loss, break even, uh, you know, small, uh, small loss there. And these work on most of the currencies. I mean, here's the uh, Australian dollar. If you use our currency indexes to find out if, for instance, today you can see the dollar is very strong over here. All right, it's trending up. The daily, weekly, monthly trends up. You're looking to buy this. And you look at the Australian dollar, you can see 
you know, earlier in the day it was trying to go up, it was above its previous day's high, and then it broke down underneath that and turned it down pretty much until maybe 12 or 1 o'clock. So before 12 or 1 o'clock, you're looking to sell this. And so if you focus on our sell signals, you have a nice big win. You know, unfortunately, very, very tiny loss here. Decent win, decent win, very tiny loss, and we're still in a long trade right here. But you can see that the, the losses are very tiny, and the wins are much bigger than the losses. And that's the key to trading. And you can see the previous day, that very small loss, pretty much very tiny win, very tiny win, uh, very tiny win, nice win, big win. Um, you know, on this day, it pretty much made money in every single trade, except, you know, possibly a loss here, four pips, whatever. Uh, and you can also use these to scalp. Uh, you know, if you are in a trade and you risk uh, five or six pips, you make five pips, you're out very quick, in and out. So you can see the New Zealand was much weaker today uh, than the Australian, and you can just simply uh, bring up a New Zealand dollar and look for sales because the dollar's strong and New Zealand's weak. And you can use uh, the GAN angle tool, which we have not released yet, which we plan to. Uh, let's take a look at the highs plotted down. Uh, this is a, a pretty decent place to uh, look for sales. For instance, if you know a currency is down, trending down, you wait for it to come up to this GAN 45 degree angle and you go short. Uh, extremely high probability and it's one of, uh, well actually we have probably 15 different GAN uh, methods in our software. We also have trend line methods. We automatically know where trend lines are because we uh, find the swing highs and lows and so from the highs we have the trend line off of here. So we know exactly where it will be in the future. And So this is an instance where it comes up and it's very close to the trend line. It's trending down. We're looking to sell. Uh, and these GAN angles are also exceptionally good at also finding uh, profit targets. Uh, there's so many of them. You can plot the GAN angles from the highs and the lows. You can plot them up. You can plot them down. Uh, if you put them all on the chart, there's just you know almost too many to watch. So I'm just going to uh, remove many of them and just take a look at the uh, ones plotted down. Uh, you can also plot from the high uh, down and also from the high up. So, uh, for instance, if you think a market is down too much and you plot the GAN angles from the, the previous swing low, well, guess what? Most of the time they tend to reverse off of these GAN angles and they make excellent profit targets and amazing uh, places, not only to exit your trade, like I said, profit target, but also a great place to do quick little scalps, 10 pips, 6 pips, 10 pips, four, 5 or 6 pips, 15 pips. Um, it happens all the time. I mean, don't take my word for it. We'll just uh, take a look at the euro dollar, which everybody loves to trade. And, you know, I'll just show this in, in many other instances. Look, bounce, bounce. Um, let's go back to yesterday. Well, I only have a few days on here. Let's go get more data. We have two days of data. We'll get six. Like I said, we're completely rewriting our tick caching code. Uh, but take a look. From this previous swing area here, we get a nice little bounce here. And most of the time, the 45 is really going to be a very high probability place. And sometimes these line up with FIB targets. And so draw your FIBs off the previous wave, especially if it's a 25 to 40 plus pip move which our software tells you this is a 30 pip move. You have the 1.382 FIB target plus the 45 degree GAN angle, and you've got a nice 15 pip bounce. You may or may not take this one, but once it's underneath the 1.618, it's very likely to bounce. If that's a 45 degree angle, uh, you know, you could get in this trade, make five or six pips, pulls back, has a little mini double buy on here, get in again and make 20 pips. So, you know, whether you got in and held or you got in, made five pips and got in again and made the whole move, uh, you're going to get bounces off these levels. 
Uh, let's take a look at the Euro Swiss. I'm just randomly picking currencies now um, for some reason. Okay, this is one that just doesn't move that much. So uh, we'll take a look at the Euro Pound. There's not enough movement to justify that. So this is trending up. So we'll use the GAN angles from the high, uh, the high up. We won't plot the low down. It's trending up. We can use these as profit targets and, like I said, as uh, great reversal areas. And, you know, I prefer to sell the 45 degree angle. This is 26 degree angle. Uh, but if they line up where the fit target is, you can usually, you know, you're going to usually have a profit target. I mean, you're usually going to make some money on this. So here, you know, it's at that level. You're short around here. Very, very tiny, two, three, four pip risk. You know, uh, you're never going to catch every pip, but, you know, the odds are you're going to make more than what your risk was. Came up again and had a wick, came back down. Uh, you might get short somewhere in this instance, and again, bigger profit. Again, it comes up to this area. You know, you're risking a very tiny amount. It didn't really pan out. And typically, above the 1.618, um, you're going to get a reversal. So I'd be a little bit careful because it can obviously run up to this 45 degree angle. Um, but it's above the 1.618 FIB target. Usually, it's going to run out of steam. It's 31 pip move previously. You might also want to. Uh, draw your fibs off that last little wave up. Uh, it's much smaller, but you can use those. You know, here's the first fib target off of that. So you again, you're above the 26 degree angle, quick little short, uh, and your risk is, is very tiny. And you can see even on a quick little scalp like that, you're likely to make one and a half to two times more profit. And that's really the key. I'll just show showcase one more example. Um, well, we'll try the Australian yen. Once you identify the trend, uh, this this one was earlier earlier on trending down. You can plot the GAN angle, and I'm just showing this now because I plan on releasing it probably in about two to four weeks when we release our next version that has uh, much improved tick caching. We're going to cache as soon as you load any kind of tick data range bar chart. It's going to cache all the tick data up to the second you load it. And so if you close it and bring it up a few hours later, it's going to come up super fast. Right now, uh, we order, uh, we store all the uh, older information on the hard drive, but we order the last two days worth of tick data. So now you're only have to, going to have to order uh, it from the last time you brought it up. The main reason I'm doing that is for my own uh, development. I'm constantly bringing the software up and down, up and down, loading it, closing it, making changes, loading it again, compiling it again and you know it takes forever so this is in the downtrend we're going to plot um, the lows down and like I said uh, when you have a currency that's trending down and it comes to these GAN angles it tends to reverse you know uh, near those areas Now, unfortunately, it didn't really hit the 45. You get a much bigger bounce off of that. And the farther down it is, the more likely it is to kind of get a bounce off the, the 26. But if you took every one of those trades where you got into a trade, maybe you had a small loss, get in here again, you have a, a win, you got your loss back plus some. All right, it's coming down to this area, goes a little bit below it, closes up, you get in. You know, the, the risk, the loss ratio is about the same here. And then you got this nice little bounce. You know, eventually uh, markets find the low and they reverse. And you can also use this in combination with our uh, Hearst bands, which we've released maybe a year, uh, eight to twelve months ago. These things are pretty amazing. Uh, they allow you to see uh, the polynomial linear regression, um, and you can see what they actually look like in real time. This is uh, optimized for the current rightmost bar. Click actual. And usually, uh, when you get to these extreme bands, which they didn't get hit today, you're going to get a bounce off of them, especially if they line up with the, uh, you know, the GAN angles. Uh, let's take a look at, and maybe if the euro dollar might have hit one of these. Uh, here we go. You can see hit the high here. Uh, more than likely, if you had um, the previous 
uh, swing high, plotted down, or maybe uh, the, the low plotted up, it would have been a, um, one of the steep GAN angles. Let's plot high up. Oops, I'm sorry, low up. There's so many lines, we can't plot them all. It would just be uh, unreadable. All right, so this one obviously exploded up here. It's way above the 63 degree GAN angle. Typically when that happens and it kind of runs out of steam, that's the end of the move. Um, this one kind of shot up, hit the upper band. It, you can use those in combination with uh, the other tools we have. They rarely get hit, but when they do, typically you're going to get a nice move off of it. And you can use all these uh, areas and these tools in combination to find uh, extremely high probability trades.